Clare and I work with the Shrewsbury Youth Mission team in the parish of St Maximin in Colby and Runcorn and St Philip Nero in Burnham in Kent and it's great to be here with you again this week. This week is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time so let's get ready for our time together by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll also light our candle to remind us that Jesus is with us. you get on following Jesus last week? Did you remember that he is the way, the truth and the life and try to follow his path even if it was a struggle at times? I did and it kind of was a struggle at, time, at times but that's okay because I knew Jesus was with me through all that I was trying to do and trying to follow him as best I could. This week we're reminded of Jesus' love for us and that we're made to love one another. And Jesus in the Gospel tells the disciples to do something for each other. So listen carefully as Chris reads our Gospel to find out what Jesus tells the disciples to do. Let's get ready with our thumbs to make the sign of the cross on our forehead as we think about the Word of God, on our lips as we speak the Word of God, and on our hearts as we love the Word of God. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made his way through Galilee taking care to avoid people so that he could spend his time teaching his disciples. He explained to them how he would be betrayed and put to death before rising from the dead after three days. Even though they did not understand what this meant, they were afraid to ask him to explain. When they arrived in Capernaum, Jesus asked his disciples what they had been discussing on the way. No one answered his question, because they'd been arguing about which one of them was the most important. Jesus told the disciples to sit down and then he said, anyone who wants to be the greatest must become the servant of all and make himself the least important. Then, taking a small child in his arms, Jesus said to them, anyone who welcomes a little child like this in my name welcomes me and in turn the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, keep what Jesus told his disciples to do in your head because we'll come back to that later on. Jesus has been telling his disciples that he would suffer and that he would die and that he wouldn't be with them much longer. So as they were walking along the road, they were discussing this and deciding who would become the next leader. So when they told this to Jesus, what did he do? That's right, he sat down and told them something. Can you remember what he told them? Yes, that's it. He told them that to be a leader, you have to serve others. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. So what did Jesus do? Who did he use as an example to show them that the least shall be first? That's right, he said, Whoever welcomes a child in my name shall be great. Children in those times weren't thought of very highly. They really were only seen and not heard. No one valued a child. They were the least in society. So to welcome a child was a big thing. So if you're welcoming people, if you're serving others, that is the way to be the greater and to be just like Jesus. He was a leader, but he served his disciples. Can you remember what he did for his disciples at the Last Supper? That's right, apart from breaking bread for them, he washed their feet. He did the job of a servant, and he did this out of great love for his disciples. And that is what we have to do. We have to serve others with great love, to be just like Jesus to others. We need to do this every day of our lives, not just when we feel like it. We need to try and find those ways to serve others, help others, each day, every day. So, have a think now. What can you do for someone today to serve them, to help them, to be like Jesus to them? It could be something simple as tidying up after yourself. 
it could be helping to wash the dishes, make tea, it could be any number of things. So have a think and try really hard to do something extra today and this week to serve others just like Jesus served his disciples. To help us remember and to have a little prayer card, we could also make our helping hand, our serving hand. So, to make our serving hand, we need a piece of paper or card and some pens and some scissors. So, to remind us to serve others, we're going to make our serving hand. So, first of all, we're going to start by drawing around our hand. Nice and simple. And then cutting it out, as always. Now you're cutting very carefully. You can be thinking of different ways to serve your family at home, your friends, maybe even teachers in school. As we work to bring the kingdom of God to earth and to be like Jesus to others. Again, like the reminder, it's not always easy to follow Jesus, but we always have to try our best. So, I'm going to write a little prayer in the middle of my hand to remind me that. I want to follow Jesus and that I'm going to ask him to help me. And this is a prayer then that I could say every day. Dear Jesus, help me to always follow your example. Make it bright and colourful so it stands out. And you see it each day to remind you to serve others and to say your prayer asking for help. And there you have your serving hand to remind you to always follow Jesus and to serve others. So think carefully about those ways you can do that this week. So remember to put your hands somewhere you'll see it each day. Say your prayer each day and remember to serve others each day in great love. Let's end with our prayer. Loving Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to serve you and to serve others according to your commandments of love. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's been great to be with you again this week, and I look forward to seeing your pictures of your serving hands. Don't forget you can send them in by email to the Shrewsbury team, or you can tag us in pictures on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.